What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, a couple of you guys sent me questions, and I figured I would respond in this video. And you guys were asking me, who do I like in a proposed Juan Manuel Marquez versus Timothy Bradley fight? That fight is up in the air. Nothing's confirmed. Um, Marquez pondered the idea of retiring. I don't think he's done yet, especially knowing a fighter's mentality. A lot of fighters, they don't just ride off into the sunset. Like, I mean, this would be a perfect time for Marquez to ride off into the sunset. You had three challenging, uh, controversial fights with Pacquiao. Then you knock him out, shock the world, right off into the sunset. But I honestly, knowing fighters and knowing their mentality and knowing the paydays and, and where his level of success is um, from shocking the world, I highly doubt he'll retire. That's just my personal opinion. Um, as far as Timothy Bradley versus Marquez, I mean, goddamn, this is an excellent fight if it is made. Um, you got two thinkers in the ring, one younger, one older. You got one slower, one faster, Timothy Bradley being the faster fighter in terms of um, speed and quickness, footwork. Um, just a hell of a matchup to me. It, it'll be a hell of a chess match. Um, if I had to pick, absolutely have to pick, and this is no knock on both fighters because I'm, I'm a huge fan of um, both fighters. I've been a fan of Marquez longer just because he's been around the sport longer. And I've seen some of his old wars, like, growing up. Um, I would lean more towards Marquez. So I would say Marquez would win, and that's where I would place my money. That's just my personal opinion. Um, it's not out of the question for Timothy Bradley to win. Again, it's a close, it's a really a pick and fight close 50-50 fight. There are certain skills that each fighter has. There's certain things that each fighter brings to the table. So it really depends on... Um, what we see that particular night, who can make adjustments and who makes the first ma mistake. Um, I can tell you, however, if Timothy Bradley chose to fight in the Rambo, Commando, Machismo fashion that he fought Ruslan Provotnikov, I see him getting knocked out. Without a doubt, no question. I see him getting knocked out if he f he chooses to fight in that ignorant manner that he did with Ruslan Provotnikov. See, Ruslan Provotnikov, a fighter with tremendous power, so props to Ruslan, but it didn't look like he had the stamina for one to follow up, and it didn't look like he had the accuracy. Now, Marquez, completely different animal. You got someone who has power, who has a brain, they're seasoned, and on top of all of that, they're perhaps one of the greatest counter punches counter punchers in the game currently i would say floyd mayweather holds the crown but you also have fighters like yermo rigandau and marquez who and donaire i mean these are probably the top five counter punchers in the game um currently that i can think of off the top of my head so again if bradley fought like that which i don't assume i think he's smarter than that i think he proved whatever he had to prove and got that out of his system in the Ruslan Provotnikov fight, which makes this fight more interesting. Because, again, I don't think he's going to revert back to that. I think he did it to make a statement. Um, that was the fight immediately following the controversial Pacquiao win. So, I think he had a chip on his shoulder. He's seen how that played out. Um, he had to dig down deep in order to win and beat Ruslan Provotnikov. So, I don't really see him fighting that way. And another thing is, um, I honestly think Timothy Bradley may have underestimated Ruslan Provotnikov early and thought like oh i'm overwhelming i'm the veteran um i got the stamina and ruslan came to fight and ruslan came to win and it probably shocked him and then he had to regroup if you will i don't think he would go in with that same reckless mindset against marquez he knows marquez is a ma master technician um i think he would have more respect for marquez because he's probably seen more of marquez um, when I was watching post or pre-fight stuff with Bradley talking about Ruslan, he was like, uh, you know, uh, he's a good fighter, you know, he's going to come. And he, he, he seemed like more or less like he probably watched tape of this fighter and, and made his, um, assessments from that. But I guarantee you, Bradley probably didn't see as much, um, footage as he seen Marquez. I mean, I'm pretty sure Bradley has seen Marquez fight live prior to, fighting or you know what i mean i'm pretty basically i think bradley has seen marquez fight live just as an audience member in the crowd but do you think he's really seen ruslan provotnikov fight live 
unless it's on the undercard to some other fight. So, um, I ultimately, I just think you'll have more respect for Marquez. That's the bottom line, the underlying point that I'm trying to make. I think Marquez, his legacy and his career speaks for itself. I don't think he would go there with the same mindset. Again, close, close pick of a fight. Um, I like Marquez in this fight. I just think his level of intelligence, his momentum, um, his new strength and conditioning regime, um, and just his counterpunching and, and overall technical skills. And he's obviously the fighter with more power. So I'm not, I've never been the type of person where I'm like, oh, you have power, you're automatically going to win. So, um, I look at the big picture, or I try to, so I, I look at the big picture, it's not just because, because really, Tim Bradley shouldn't have beat anybody, because most of his opponents probably had more power than him, but we know Tim Bradley's smart, so again, it's a hell of a fight, Tim Bradley definitely has a shot to win it, um, he just has to think, I just think Marquez will capitalize on big mistakes that he makes in the ring, if any, so um, Bradley would just really have to be on his A game, because Despite what other people think, Floyd Mayweather Jr. doesn't hit as light or he's not as pillow-fisted as some people in YouTube universe um, would like to believe. So Mayweather has, at the very least, respectable power at 147. Um, you could say, oh, Marquez was smaller, that's why. But there's no reason on God's green earth that just because someone who has possesses all the skills Marquez has would lose every single round I mean that's no there's no reason I mean even though he he came up in weight because if you look at it he jumped up two weight classes to fight Pacquiao the third time and there's no way on in hell that he lost every single round in that fight so again I think Styles makes fight don't use that weight bullshit um as as in terms of why Marquez lost to Mayweather um but anyway Mayweather versus Bradley, two different animals. Um, I don't see Marquez beating Mayweather even if they rematch, just because the defense and the, the quick-mindedness, the reflex, um, and Mayweather has more power. But as far as Bradley, that's a that's a great matchup, a great pick -em fight. Again, you got the old dog versus the young dog, and you got two thinkers, so I'd be anxious to see that. Like I said, I would never count Bradley out. It's just my personal opinion that I would uh, lean more towards Marquez in this bout. So let me know what you guys think. Marquez versus Bradley, who would win? Do you want to see it? Would you rather see a Pacquiao versus Marquez part 5 or 12, whatever number they're on? Um, let me know something in the comments. So as always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Until next video, it's Ego signing off.